Wow. So if you guys really did want to have a dead bush with every enchantment, you can do that. Welcome back everyone, my name is Echo. Today in this video, I am here to share with you a very useful app for the iOS users. This is basically Toolbox, but on your iOS device. This works for your iPhone, your iPod, and your iPad. It does not require any jailbreaks at all. It just requires one specific app. Now before we get into this, this app is paid. It only costs around about two or three dollars. You can probably find that around the back of your couch. However, before you hit that dislike button, I'm gonna try and get my hands on a bunch of codes to give away to you guys. So if you'd like a code for this app, all you gotta do is be sure to hit that like button. Now this is a game changer, and the most cool thing about this app is it doesn't ruin realms or servers because it does not work on realms or servers. It basically fully customizes your survival worlds, your creative worlds, and much more. If you wanted to give a dead bush every single enchantment in the game, you can do this. Now this app is called Plug Tools. Pretty sure it's created by the creator of Plug PE, which you guys are probably familiar with. Now I'll leave a link in description so you can click it and download it. But if that does not work, all you gotta do is go to the iTunes App Store and type in Plug Tools. Now it should be the first one. I'm hoping it is. Yes it is. Plug Tools for Minecraft Inventory and what did it say there? It said Inventory and World Editing. So if we click on Open, let's get into this and let me teach you how this works. Now the first page that does pop up, if you've never used this before, I recommend reading this. It explains in great, in great detail how this app works and what it's all about um, in terms of like editing your inventory and so much more. If we get to the bottom, the second bottom one says Importing Worlds. Plug Tools allows you to import any .mc world or .zip files. So you can actually import .zip files, which really hasn't been possible on iOS devices because it's kind of really complicated. So forget about this, let's go to worlds. We're just gonna be creating a brand new world. I did have one here to test and mess around with. If we hit the plus on the top right, let's name this as Plug Tools Test. It's gonna be our world name. Click OK. We then have the option of three different generations, the old terrain, infinite worlds, or flat. We're gonna go infinite for now. And of course, this is really unique. We have survival, creative, adventure, but we also have spectator. Now, I've not messed around with the spectator mode. So this could definitely be something I'm going to check out. If we hit survival for the sake of this video, I'm gonna be using a well-known Mesa Biome at spawn which is my name in all capital letters, Echo Soldier. It's a really good seed, by the way. It says here, well created, and you can now edit it. So the next stage that you need to do is tap on the specific world. So if we tap on this world, we are gonna get multiple options. We've got world and other player settings, your player settings, inventory, export to Minecraft, duplicate or delete. So we're gonna go world and other player settings. Now this is basically the default settings that you get within Minecraft. Because if I scroll down, you've got things like uh, TNT exploding on or off. Basically, it creates like the command options within your survival world. We'll start from the top though, because if you don't understand something, for example, maybe you didn't understand what the, the spawn meant. If you tap on spawn, it says spawn X, Y, and Z. This is the default player X, Y, and Z spawn position for new players. Note, 3276 is a special value for Y, which means a safe Y position on the ground. So. Yeah, basically it, it teaches you if you don't understand something. So you've got generator, let's go to uh, cheats. We're gonna enable commands, has been loaded in creative. We can enable that as well. Bonus chests, we'll enable them. Bonus chest spawned, we'll have that on. And then you've got the world properties down to the command options like fall damage, fire damage and much more. That's kind of the basic things that I learned about this. But if we scroll down a little bit further, we do have another option here, which is walk speed. I'm gonna boost this up to 50 because basically you're like Flash in game. I, I think it's really cool. And if you're a, like a map creator, this is gonna be really fun for you to mess around with as well. So once those options, well, you're happy with them, top right, click tick, they have changed. I'm gonna go to your player settings because we're gonna edit a couple more. Now this four spawn is also very important as well. It says four spawn, if the player should spawn at XYZ coordinates, even if no bed can be found. So it's gonna set the world spawn always. You've got your positions, you've got your game mode, your levels. I'm gonna put this to, I'm gonna put this to like 500 and player progress. 
I'm also going to put this to, you know what, we'll put this to around about 50. I'm just going to boost everything up and show you guys like crazy maxed out stuff. Because who doesn't want to have crazy maxed out stuff? Uh, walk speed, we'll boost that up to 50 as well. So basically in game, we're going to be moving really, really fast. Because again, who doesn't want to do that? Uh, invulnerability, which means I can't die at all. May fly, sure. And fly, we'll click on that as well. Fly speed. Now this is an incredibly useful one, guys. Because obviously with some specific seeds, this is going to be really useful for me. For specific seeds, you really do fly slow. And I've, if I want to find large quantities of terrain, what's in a seed... Flying slow is not what I want. I want to be able to fly a little bit faster. But do be careful with some of these things, like fly, because if you boost it too high, you're going to go too fast. Most likely your world is going to crash. Now it says insta build. It says see help. Let's have a quick look here. Insta build, where the player can instantly destroy blocks. Ah, okay. So basically, even in survival, we have the insta ability. That's cool. Uh, you've also got lightning at the bottom, where the player is able to use forward slash summon lightning when cheats are on. That's pretty cool. We'll enable that as well. You've then got player experience. This is where things get really, really fun. Player attributes. These are really, really fun. So current, we're going to put player experience. We'll put this to 500 and we'll put this to 500 as well. We'll go to done. You've got player level. You know what? We'll boost this up as well. We'll boost this to 500. I'm just going to kind of boost as much as I can. I don't really know what the absorption is. So I'm guessing that's kind of like your damage kind of thing. Don't really know about that. You've got luck, you've got health, you've got saturation, exhaustion. It goes all the way down. I'm just gonna keep them at that and click tick. The next one is probably my favorite one, your player inventory. I like this a lot. I like this a lot because you can literally give yourself anything at all. Now I'll leave the item IDs in the description so you guys can get basically get unobtainable blocks all the IDs. We're not gonna mess around with my armory, but if I wanted to put something in my offhand, let's say a diamond sword, I'm just going to use max 64 and I'm going to max it out. So basically, my offhand item has a diamond sword. Although you can't use it, it's maxed out with absolutely everything. Now, in the hot bar, we're going to go to... Uh, we're just going to find some blocks. Let's find something a little bit random. You know what, guys? We're going to go back to... There should be a dead bush inside of here. I'm going to grab myself a dead bush. Who doesn't want a dead bush? We're going to grab 64 and we're going to max it. So in my inventory, we have... A maxed out dead bush, which by the way, if you kill a mob, it gives you like, so, it gives you stacks and stacks of food, which is cooked and stacks and stacks of leather if you're killing like a cow. Uh, what else is in here? Because there is actually a lot of items. Like, let me show you a prime example. We've got here, like different stages of growth for specific things. Like, uh, like what else did we, what, what else, I think it's like potatoes or something like that. I'm just gonna have a quick, quick look. You, you can get crops like this. Use... And we'll just max it out again just because we can. We'll just grab a couple of these. What else is there? What is that? Black stained banner. You've got a couple of banner designs there. What else is in here? I'm, I wonder if, right, glowing obsidian is in here. No, no glowing obsidian. Hmm. What about, what about bedrock? Anything bedrock related? Invisible bedrock. There we go. We do have invisible bedrock. Max all. Okay, so we give myself that. That'll do for the time being. All right, so basically I've edited the world to what I wanted to do. If I click on plug test now, the next options we have is export to Minecraft. All you gotta do is simply click this. It says here, please select copy to Minecraft. So all we do now is click on copy to Minecraft. Now this is gonna transfer over to Minecraft. That easy, that simple, that now your world is going to be fully customized just by that app. That is all you need to do. So once this loads up, I'm going to have my offhand diamond sword, which I do, which looks a pretty weird. It says level imported. So if I go to here, yes, in my offhand, you can see I have my diamond sword. I've got, wow. So if you guys really did want to have a dead bush with every enchantment, you can do that. It's absolutely insane. And yes, we're, we're moving pretty fast. And yes, I have 500 levels. So what we're going to do now is I... Wait, do we have commands? I might have to change my game mode, game mode because I want to see... I want to show you guys what it's like when you kill a mob. I killed a rabbit earlier on and it gave me like stacks and stacks of stuff. But I'm... If I'm... I'm walking now, by the way, guys. If I'm running now, but I'm tapping it once and I'm walking. Which is why I'm not losing much. I'm sorry, Mr. Ruben, but for the sake of today's video, you're going to be my demonstration. And if we kill him, as you guys can see, we got a stack and a half of food. That's just from killing one specific mob and it's just really really fun i like it a lot I, I honestly do so we should have commands do we have commands so we do we basically have commands enabled 
That's a good question though. I don't know if it disables my achievements. Because of course that would be cheating. Look at the uh, look at the sun when I'm running towards it. It kind of fully stretches it. <laughs> it's so much fun. It's so much fun. So that's the app that I wanted you guys to check out today. Something unique, something very different. You can actually plant these as well. At least I could have before. I can plant these. I actually can. I'm really curious now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change my game mode real quick. Let's go to creative. I want to grab myself an anvil and silk touch. So we grab ourselves an anvil. And I want to see what happens if I silk touch that same dead bush, if it still has the same. So anvil, uh, we'll go to diamond pick. And we'll grab ourselves one silk touch book. There we go. Okay. I hope this works. Come on, we've got plenty of levels, so we don't have a problem with this. All right, so touch, let's change my game of back settings, survival, let's see this. So I think it was this one. Okay, so then it just turns into a normal one. All right, so you gotta be really careful, and this is glowing up. This is a invisible bedrock. Literally the indestructible item, you cannot break it at all. It's right there, it's so weird. I don't think you can stack it though. They never ever made this stackable. What's this one? This is like crops. <laughs> My hands look invisible. There's, I'm not going to try and kill that rabbit because honestly, trying to chase a rabbit in this is absolutely insane because they just bounce all over the place. And yes, I do have a weapon in my offhand. And what I'll do now is I will go to... I can take it off, but as you can see there, it's physically... It's insane. Uh, I can't do anything with it. Oh, wait, I can now. Yo, we can. All right, let's try it. All right, that's pretty cool. What We got a lot. <laughs> a lot of leather and only a little bit of... Food. Wow. That's that's really annoying. That's pretty can we do forward slash fly though? Should we try this? Forward slash fly? No, I don't think we can. So I don't really know how the fly works. I couldn't technically get that to work. But all I gotta do now, guys, is save and quit. Maybe I wasn't happy with the changes that I made within that. All you gotta do is make sure you save the world and quit the world. But it's always gonna be there because if we go back to the app, which is this one, my world is still there. So we go back in here, we can re-edit the options. You can re-edit your world options, your player, so much more play inventory. It should tell me what I have in my inventory now. No, it doesn't. Um, that's pretty strange. Obviously, it doesn't. Re it didn't register. Unless I, hold on guys, unless I close all the apps real quick and then reopen it. Because basically I want to see if it updates with the previous items that I've just collected. Because obviously I'm going to have leather and stuff on me. Um, let's go to your player inventory. No, it didn't. But yeah, that's the app, guys. Go and check it out. Go and have some fun. If you did enjoy today's video, be sure to hit that like button. If you would like to try and get your hands on the code because you can't pay for it, then be sure to hit that like button and I'll try and give you some codes. Have a great day and I'll catch you next time. Bye.